We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, as in a previous video, I asked if uh, there was an old device that you guys wanted to take a look at, and um, uh, the only person that responded was Tommy V, so Tommy, this is for you. Uh, this video is focusing on um, an older device, which is a Sony Watchman, and this one is an FD30, I believe. Uh, this Watchman was manufactured in 1984, and uh, the Sony Watchman line itself was made from 1982 to 2000. And the first one um, that was produced in Japan was the FD210 and sold for almost $500 in 1982. So it's pretty expensive. Uh, it does include a TV tuner and an FM and AM radio. Uh, it does not pick up TV stations anymore as analog channels were shut off uh, in 2009 in the US. And over the year, TV was changed in, uh, changed to digital. So, what I am able to show you is um, just how it you know how it works and how it looks, and uh, show you with an input. This one doesn't work too well anymore um, because it is uh, the speaker no longer works, um, and I believe that there is issues with the with the input and the tuner itself. But um, just wanted to show you like all the. Um, controls on here so on the bottom here you've got your vertical hold and contrast and this particular model is uh, has the Cleveland Browns uh, logo on there and I believe they had some others with different NFL teams on there um, it's uh, silver painted it's pretty thick and uh, here we show the input so you could put a powered input in there um, on the back it does have the battery compartment which takes four AA batteries the piece back here um, shows the manufacture date of May 1984 and it's also a kickstand um, it does sit up um, one interesting thing here is if you can see that the screen is slanted and the reason being is there's actually a full cathode ray tube in this device uh, which is really cool um, this is showing off the case that it comes with, which has a little uh, shade, so you could watch TV outside. It's pretty cool. Now, when I was filming this, um, if you recall, CRTs aren't really able to be filmed properly because of the flicker. So I was just showing that this was filmed uh, 60 frames per second in 1080p. Um, the lowest my phone will do is 24 frames per second in 4K, so I show that in the next clip. But I did uh, think this was pretty cool that it has the... A uh, little shade there, and uh, I used this quite a bit as a teenager because uh, we still had the TV. And there's the VHF to UHF, so um, and you can see on the tuner it shows you the diff different channel um, ranges you can choose from. And uh, yeah, this was a pretty cool device to have um, when I was younger. Um, it really is unfortunate that there is no channels I could show on it, but it is a cool device uh, to keep around. So. And here it is in 4K at 24 frames per second. So you can kind of see how the screen looks here. It's just static that I'm showing here because it's not picking up anything. Um, but still pretty, pretty cool. Now here in the next clip, I will show you uh, putting an input into this device. And I had a uh, the RCA cables to the uh, little input here. And I'm trying to do this one-handed, so just uh, excuse the shaky cam and everything here. But uh, I do get it put in here. Now, one interesting thing here is uh, these Watchmans and portable TVs in general can be found really cheap on eBay. Um, so if you really wanted one, you could get one probably for 10 bucks or less. Um, if you wanted some more information on what happened to portable TVs, um, they kind of have gone the way of the wind, and digital ones are hard to um, they're hard to find. But uh, there's a YouTube channel called Techmoan, and he did a great video on um, what happened to portable handheld uh, TVs. Um, but you know, the biggest reason being that analog is no longer here, and digital is not really uh, very good. And uh, we all have cell phones now, so most of us watch TV on our cell phones or on our, our tablets. Um, so portable TVs, you know, were once a really cool thing and no longer. So here I am trying to put the input in here. 
and I had a lot of trouble with this for some reason. Um, it just kept showing static, and I really wasn't sure what to do to fix it here, but I'm just thinking that this, this thing is so old and it just has so many issues. Um, I still love it. I'm still going to keep it. You know, it's it's one of my favorite devices. Um, I did try to just plug it in halfway and I was able to get sort of a picture, but it didn't really look too good. Now this is only black and white, so nothing too special. But uh, anyways, just wanted to show this to you guys and hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Sony Watchman, and I'll see you in the next one.